Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundations on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. When a person is devoted to something with complete faith, I unify his faith in that. Then, when his faith is completely unified, he gains the object of his devotion. A righteous man falls down seven times and gets up. in them. Every activity is surrounded by defects as a fire is surrounded by smoke. The mask offers protection from spirits. It represents our connection to the spirit. It is a call out to his ancestors. It is the ideal self of beauty. The blankness represents the soberness of power. As the heat of a fire reduces wood to ashes, the fire of knowledge burns to ash all the time. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do. Living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and detestable idolatry. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. For we live by faith, not by sight. Abandon all attachments to the results of action and attain supreme peace. by a clear path to a lesser one. There are three gates to the self-destruction path, lust, anger, and greed. Those who are motivated only by a desire for the fruits of actions are miserable, for they are constantly anxious about the results of what they do. Entering this dark and closed space would be activating the prefrontal cortex. The brain would be assessing the area for danger, and planning ways of escaping, incorporating the fight or flight principle. He regresses into this small space, experiencing his unconscious desire to return to the comforts of his mother's womb. His repressed childlike instincts gives him the desire to build and play, activating the motor cortex to control the fine motor skills to build and prefrontal cortex to plan and imagine the placement of stones. Our ability to build and use tools was a feature of our evolution, which allowed us to survive in tougher climates. When he places the stone upon another stone, that stone acts upon the first stone with a force equal and opposite to it. The stone will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. His frustration stems from his desire to be perfect and impress his fellow pack. His anger associated with it comes from a repression of trauma during childhood, ruminating in his unconscious need to be perfect. Anxiety indicates levels of obsessive-compulsive disorder, seen also in the careful organisation of his surroundings. The motion observed by us could be very different to the motion he is experiencing. He could be a moving object. Time is relative to the observer. The mask allows him to detach himself from the pressures of success. He can regress to a period before the mirror phase, where his identity is not known to him. The 
prefrontal cortex brings about this release from the anxiety before. However, when the anxiety activity continues to fail and compulsion doesn't bring the relief, anxiety re-emerges in a more powerful tie. Alcoholism is his addiction. This relief-based system is parallel with OCD, which is a quick reward-based system. Our ability to communicate through books is development through our evolution to help survival via heightened ability to communicate through a shared language. The process of writing is controlled in the broker's area of the frontal lobe. The way he looks is an evolutionary trait to help reproduction. Long hair throws back to a masculine quality desirable by females. His experimentation with his actions tend towards ideas of logical positivism. The acceleration of the book and mask are different to each other as they both have different mass. He is a realist. Something exists beyond those doors. This place brings him comfort. Everything is organised and designed to bring aesthetic pleasure. Stacking rocks is a game to him. He enjoys it. It brings him pleasure. He does what he thinks is right. Morality is subject. There is no underlying rules. He lives by the light of virtue theory. He is aiming for the pleasure of the end game and dealing with the struggles of now. I was not. I was. I am not. I do not care. He isn't hurting anybody. He neither harms or is being harmed. He struggles for the pleasure of all mankind. The soul is material and must be adhered to in such. He acts this way because he has ridden himself of fear of death and fear of God. You can see he does not fear divine invention. His life is one to attain a state of tranquility and freedom from fear, as well as an absence of bodily pain. You see he drinks for pleasure, but doesn't overindulge. Reading brings him pleasure. The subject of the book brings him peace of mind. When he experiences pain, he takes action to rid himself of it. Everything is material to him. take more care of himself, then maybe he could find a soulmate. 
Without sharing his life with anyone, everything has become a routine for him. You can see he has lots of hobbies. A way of distracting himself from the true desire to love. Last 10 seconds. Everyone needs a house to live in. But a supportive family is what builds a home. Parents were the only ones obligated to love you. From the rest of the world, you had to earn it. Families are the compass that guide us. We have the inspiration to reach great heights and our comfort when we occasionally falter. Rejoice with your family in the beautiful land of life. His is an only child. He never learned the joy of play. You see, he is still a child at heart, playing dress up. Maybe he just needs to grow up. Human beings are the only creatures on earth that allow the children to come back home. Home is where the heart is. A house is built by hands, but a home is built by heart. He obviously has had a tough childhood. His mother should have told him the dangers of drugs and alcohol. Reading a book with no one to read to, maybe a romance novel. Imagining and longing to be in the book. Again, the repetitive task fails to distract. Max, we gotta go across and find another gate. Uh, we gotta go through the gate. Children are the keys of paradise. Family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. A real man loves his wife and places his family as the most important thing in life. The love of family is life's greatest blessing. He brings his money so he can go out and find his soulmate. I think entering the dark room symbolizes putting on a veil of ignorance. I think entering the dark room symbolizes putting on a veil. The lack of light tells us that we know very little about this person. The lack of light tells us that we know very little about this person. The lack of light tells us that we know very little about this person. The accent typewriter accent symbolizes typewriter the symbolizes the flashlight of the accent typewriter symbolizes the flashlight of man. His clothes represent the old and abandoned. His clothes tell us he has represent lost the old abandoned and tell us he has lost a sense of identity. His clothes represent the old and abandoned and tell us he has lost a sense of identity. The lack of colour shows the cold reality of human suffering. The lack of colour shows the cold reality of human suffering. The dead flowers symbolize our destruction of the, the environment. Dead flowers symbolize our destruction, destruction of the environment. Dead flowers symbolize our destruction of the environment with our search for natural resources. The stones tell us he strives for a more natural life. The stones tell us he strives for a more natural life. The stones tell us he strives for a more natural life. He builds the stones like he wants to build his own identity. He builds the stones like he wants to build his own identity. Of himself that the suitcase away. represents the part of his distance he keeps hidden away. The suitcase represents the part of himself that he keeps hidden away. It's distance that travels with him. He wears the mask to hide his true identity. He wears the mask to hide his true identity. He wears the mask to hide his true identity. The real self he doesn't want the world to see. The 
alcohol represents his desire to escape his reality. The alcohol represents his desire to escape his reality. The alcohol represents his desire to escape his reality. The alcohol represents his desire to escape his reality. The alcohol represents his desire to escape his reality. The alcohol represents his desire to escape his reality. When the mask wears thin, when the mask wears thin, the mask wears thin, anxiety breaks through, 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 through his armor. He loses the shroud of denial. He loses the shroud of denial. He clutches his faith. He leaves this world. He leaves this world.